I'm Claire King, uh, probably best known for Kim Tate in Emmerdale, um, for riding horses and things like that. And then I went on to do Bad Girls, but no horses in that. And got involved with the ILPH, as the World Horse Welfare was then, about 20 years ago when I was in Emmerdale. When I first got out there, first of all, as far as the country was concerned, I couldn't believe how clean it was. You didn't see litter, you didn't see pylons, only within the main capital area. But as soon as you got out into the country itself, you couldn't believe how pure it looked. I went out there the beginning of spring, and I'd say the condition of the horses wasn't too bad. They'd got through the winter, uh, they still had, you know, a fair bit of condition on them. But then you know that the droughts are going to come in summer as well. So they're, they're going to lose their condition an incredible amount. I think the most important thing, the thing that struck me most when I got there to Lesotho, that's so different from anywhere else, the usage of the horse. A, it's so mountainous that in winter they get completely cut off from anything. You know, you can be miles away from the nearest village even. Um, and because the terrain's so cruel, they, you can't always walk everywhere. You have to, you know, take horses. There are other mode of transport. Obviously, they use them for carts, um, for transporting, you know, hay, feed, their livestock about, um, their families, and also for ploughing. I think one of the main things that was very noticeable was actually a lot of the tack and there was a lot of army saddles, uh, bridles, and the obvious thing that, that was very noticeable was the fact that their bits were literally hanging out of their mouths down here. So therefore, the bits were clanking against their teeth, knocking their teeth out to a certain extent, and just really severely, well, mangling their teeth, their, the whole mouths, basically. Um, a lot of bridles, ill-fitting, you know, too long on cheek straps or throat lashes or... Or had none of that and also a lot of the harnesses that they used within the farming community just didn't fit at all and you'd, you'd see horses with incredible sores you know on their withers and on their backs um, saddles that were so badly fit and the trees were actually broken that the pressure was putting and all they did to relieve the pressure was then put say about five different rugs on underneath well <laughs> you know it was just going to do more and more damage so you know, when, the, when you've got saddles and bridles out there that they can then see fitted correctly, they learn from this. I think the whole philosophy that the charity has of not just helping the horse, but helping the people of the country is very prevalent actually in Lesotho. And that's where it really works, I think, because of the fact they want to learn. There's no um, industry out there apart from the tourist industry. And I think that was one of the main issues that I noticed um, was starting to, to work, the fact that they could get um, source products from the country as opposed to having to buy it in from South Africa and places like that. You know, we found a, a tanning place, the boys found it the week before I got there. So if we can just kind of make things more indigenous to that country, I think that will really help as well. But, but that's what it's about, it's helping the economy of the whole country. It's not just about helping the horse. The people will benefit from that and the horses obviously likewise. But the people I just found incredibly friendly, willing to learn, which I think is what's gonna make the whole project succeed. And I know it's been running a year now, I went out in the, the, the second year of this, and you've seen how some of the guys have graduated from the first course, learnt the skills of saddlery, you know, farriership, um, and are now teaching the, the new lot there, so I think that's, that's something that um, is really going to be successful. Anybody who's thinking of, of actually giving money or helping World Horse Welfare, please do, because it's not just about helping animals, it's also about helping the people that work along with them. It's helping boosting the economy of the whole country. If we can help the animals, it helps the people, so please, give to World Horse Welfare.